welcome to the virtual room room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I am bringing you another shaving video. And this video isn't going to be focused so much around a sub, this is actually focused around a razor. As you've probably seen by the title, this is the, let's see if it's focusing, it is, this is the Carve, I was going to say Christopher Bradley, this is the Carve Overlander. Um, this is a completely new razor design by Carve, and I can see how they've learned from the Christopher Bradley. Um, I'm not going to say too much about it right now. I'm going to kind of lather up and we'll talk about it as, I sh as we shave. But um, there's a few design things I'd like to talk about here. Some things that are very much carved um, and some things that are new from carved, something that they haven't yet done. So let's let's actually get on with the shave and we'll get into it. My, my soap of choice today is going to be from Ariana and Evans. Um, this is in Kaizen 2. And this is uh, Vanilla Vendetta. This was one of my scents of the year. Vanilla Juniper, absolutely beautiful. Um, I've already got that loaded up in my Decoration B6. Let's get the specs off. I also have some coffee I'm drinking here. Ah, oh, man. Really good. It's funny because... Uh, it's probably about 10 o'clock, something like that. I think it's 10. <laughs> I, I lose track of time. But yes, I hope you guys are okay. I'm really looking forward to shaving with this. Um, I managed to snag one from the last drop. This isn't a review unit. I paid for this myself. Uh, Don't really need anything for free, quite frankly. I earn decent money, you know. Got freebies. Freebies aren't necessary, really. But yeah. It's gonna get lathered up here and we'll talk you through the razor. The razor itself, um, I'll be honest, I was waiting for a stainless steel razor. Not the biggest fan of brass. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that patina, but I had a chat to him and I don't think stainless is gonna come for a little bit, so. That's fine. If I enjoy the razor, I'll keep, keep this one until stainless does come out. And uh, buy the stainless and just get rid of it really when uh when I get it but get rid of the brass I mean this brush just has the perfect amount of splay and background So yeah, there are a few design differences um, from the Christopher Bradley. Now, there, there are things that I personally remember us talking about in terms of de the design of a V2. It's not really a V2, Christopher Bradley. Um, as far as manufacturing goes, quite frankly, he's done a few things that make the manufacturing easier of the razor itself. Um, for example, the way the bottom of the base plate is shaped on the Christopher Bradley, which is here, as you can see, it's kind of like... It's got kind of a, like this sort of shape. It's actually kind of difficult to machine. It's quite time consuming. It also, that's also one of the things that, you know, stops, stops these uh, foreign companies trying to rip it off. But he's opted not to go with that this time. I think for a couple of reasons, he's just looking one for a di different aesthetic and two, as I said, it is, it's time consuming. It's a bit harder to pull off. Um, the head obviously is something that I remember us talking about. The head needs to be thinner on another model and he's done that. The head is, I would say considerably smaller than the Christopher Bradley, but it is smaller. I think the biggest thing, quite frankly, from a calf perspective, and I'm going to tell you from a calf perspective because I do have the, I guess, unique perspective of having worked there. Um, making Christopher Bradley uh, where that's kind of their flagship razor, it's kind of annoying. 
uh, there are so many variants. And that didn't happen, in, that didn't happen immediately, that was, uh, something that happened kind of over time, you know. It was, we're capable of doing it, so why not? When in truth, it's actually a bit of a hindrance to produce that many parts for a razor, meaning that it's kind of difficult to get ahead sometimes. I think I have a brush hair in my mouth. I do. Yes, that's the leather. That'll do. Very hydrated. I added a ton of water initially. That'll do though. Cool. Okay, so, uh, I, I, guys, I, I'm gonna probably call it Chris Bradley at some point, but it's not, it's the Overlander. This is in brass. I'm curious to see um, kind of how the face feel is. But what you can see here, I don't know if I can really focus on that. The to the point where it controls that blade, it's very, very close to the blade edge. So I'm I'm assuming it's gonna have good blade clamping, but let's let's find out for ourselves. Yes. Very muted blade feel. Uh different blade angle to a carve, Christopher Bradley. That your blade angle is more here as opposed to here. Um, I didn't expect this. I expected there to be a bit of blade fill. Because I think that's more... Chris, Chris himself likes a bit of blade fill. There is almost none. Uh, Feels like a B plate to me. Something that I notice a huge improvement on already is the uh, the lather channels. Another thing that we identified that needed improving, and he did that with this version. The head is much more maneuverable now. It's not quite as bulky. Got a heavy razor. This is 112 grams. Jeez, it's just no blade whatsoever. None. I, I, yeah, there's just no blade. Efficiency feels very good. It feels better than I would say it's blade fill equivalent on the Christopher Bradley system, which I'm not surprised because I, I knew that was something he worked on. But yeah, very, very nice. Actually, let's take a swig of coffee. Feels like a very easy shaver right now. It's funny, actually, because I... I mean, I expected a bit of blade feel, honestly, and there isn't any. Like, there's, there's even less than the Christopher Bradley, so... I think that's what he was going for, obviously. For anyone that doesn't know Chris, Chris is a very good designer. Uh, so I know he'd been working on this for a while. Okay, let's uh, let's go like straight, kind of against slash across the grain here and see how this feels. Wow. I'll be honest, guys. This feels like the Block 0.86. Very similar. Which for me is a huge compliment. No blade fill, like none. I'd say the Block probably has slightly more. High efficiency. And this is what this has. but insane clamping of the blade. And this is exactly what I would expect from the design of Carve, quite frankly. I know that's something he puts a lot of emphasis on and was a big proponent to designing that initial Christopher Bradley was its ability to control the blade. Because this is brass, I'm just using the weight of the razor. There's no pressure there whatsoever. And it's doing a great job.
One extra green in this. Yeah, this is uh, really good. It's actually pretty darn efficient too. Given the amount of blade fill it has. The handle is really grippy and nice. For you guys that know me, I prefer slightly less weight. It's just quite heavy. But wow, great razor. Has that uh, standard of carb, standard of manufacturing. It's pristine out of the box. The level of uh, the quality of engraving at the bottom is very, very good. These lather channels are actually incredible um, as far as their effectiveness. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Let's have a feel around. A tiny bit here. Jesus. A bit blown away, to be honest, by the by the quality of the show. Um, we're done. Like all I needed was two passes for that thing. I could probably go straight against the grain with that as well, very much like the blood. Let's get this on the face. I, I didn't intentionally do this to be a review because that will come in, in some good time, but I just wanted to get my shave and give you my initial impressions. Let's get this on the face and I'll be back for the post shave and my final initial thoughts. See you soon. Hey guys, it is post shave time. Let's see how the razor did, shall we? The post shave over the soap is mad, but we're not assessing for that. Let's get a tiny bit here. Yeah, wow. Well. I'm um, in two passes, it's BBS, like pure BBS. Maybe a tiny bit here as well. The, the, the blade clamping is, it's just, just remarkable. Um, and I knew, like, looking at the design of the head, that's exactly what he went for. He went for high efficiency, good blade clamping. That's an efficient razor, especially if you consider how much blade fill there is there. Wow, yeah, I'm very, very impressed initially. Um, let's get the splash on. So we've got the matching Vene Vendetta splash. This is, so this scent itself is very similar. I'm gonna use a ton of this, but this scent is very similar to uh, MFK's of Gentle Fluidity Gold. Um, I'm not sure if it was an intentional dupe, but it could be. So if you like that scent, um, pick up Vanilla Vendetta, Vanilla Vendetta. It's just remarkable. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty blown away by that razor, I have to say. No weepers whatsoever going against the grain on the second pass. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Wow. Okay, let me show you the gear I used today and I'll let you guys go as always. Um, Vene Vendetta was my soap of choice today. One of my favorite scents in wet shaving at this point. Uh, a must buy for me. Carb Overlander. Um, first impressions, obviously insanely positive. That's one of the higher quality shaves I think I've had in a really long time with a DE razor. Especially first off the bat. like. I didn't really need to pick up and learn how to use it to get a good shave from it. I just got a remarkable shave straight away. Really looking forward to bringing a review of that. And if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel. Um, brush is my Decoration B6 Autumn Glory, a staple of my den. Very much like a DK Dam Fine Shaves Lancaster Bowl. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you want an alternative way to support the channel and keep me fueled with coffee, uh, there's going to be a link in the description for buy me a coffee. You can buy me a coffee or not completely up to you. If not, just watch the video, comment on it, just chat to me. I don't mind that either. Um, yeah, you know, I'm enjoying making these videos at the moment. I hope you guys are enjoying kind of more frequent content from me. Any feedback you have on any of the content I have, feel free to put it in the description below. Um, anything you want me to make videos of, also tell that, say that to me as well. I really don't mind. Uh, happy to kind of, you know, give you what you want to see, but 
I've been doing this a while now and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. My name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. And goodbye for now.